More bizarre cult facts. Hey, ex-cult boy, back talking more about the cult that I escaped seven years ago, the Exclusive Brethren, or as they've recently rebranded the Plymouth Brethren Christian Church. Now, I'm talking about my experiences here in Australia, but they are a global cult, seamlessly integrated into society. Now, there's one interesting thing, uh, a bizarre thing I look back on now, uh, and when I share that, used to share this with friends that I'd made from on the in the outside world, they were so like puzzled by it. And, and, I'm just going to get straight into it because I, I can't even begin to unpack this. So let's do it. Okay. So the cult used to have these photo books and every two years, I think every year it used to be every two years, they, everyone had to take a photo. Now there was localities all over the globe and my locality where I grew up was called Windsor, as you can see here. It's so bizarre looking back on now because I feel like without these photos, of me in the cult, I really find it hard to believe I lived this story. I lived that life. Now, the, it, it, I, find, I don't even know how to explain this, but they have these photo books, right, that are done every year, as I've explained, and all over the globe. Now, every locality, it's divided up into like, so Australia, New South Wales, and then we've got Sydney. Now, Sydney is kind of broken up into, not just classified as Sydney, so you've got each local meeting. Um, and Windsor isn't a part of Sydney. It's its own, was its own locality before it um, got closed down, but that's a different story. So what I'm sharing with you is the photo books, the catalogs we used to call them, because it essentially was where the men used to look up girls, women, and go, hey, I like that one. Um, because, well, you, you didn't have social media. You don't have social media. There's no way of finding a partner in there without approval and and therefore that's why i i believe most well pretty much all relationships or marriages within the plymouth brethren christian church are arranged like my parents was so i'm going to show you me back in that cult this is the windsor book and this is as you can see my grandparents and this is me strange yeah i look like a different person without these photos i find it really hard to believe that I lived this life because it's so foreign and so different to the life I live now. Obviously, I'm an out gay man. I was closeted here, um, even though some will beg to differ, but because I was very unapologetically me. And I will um, bring this photo up closer to explain my little, you know, signs of rebelliousness, as my grandpa would call it, or my dad. So this is my family, and I want to sh I want to bring up um, how and why and what they process when you leave right or when you're excommunicated they treat it like and how they treat it like a death so bear with me as i zoom up on this photo and here we have the close-up of my family photo when i was in the cult so when you get to a certain age they don't list your um your birth dates so i was obviously over a certain age and so was my brother therefore we're not listed now what i want to point out here is um the difference between the, the catalogs when you, the photo books when you're in there as to when you leave. And, and to also back up the, the fact that you are taught you are better off to die than to leave because they literally wipe you out of existence. So this is the, the photo of my family. Now, when people die, they will put a little asterisk. So say my parents had died, uh, one of my parents had died, there would have been an asterisk there. They would still acknowledge that person because they died within the cult. But if they left, and are still alive, because I am still alive, um, they, and I'll show you in the next photo, don't acknowledge your existence at all. And here's one of the latest catalogs or photo books from the Brethren of Windsor, which are no longer, and my family. Obviously I've left, so I'm not in the photo. One of my sisters has been married off, so therefore she's recorded as married but I don't, I don't exist because I left, because I have been excommunicated, because I no longer walk in the light. I don't exist. So my family have to go on acknowledging that I'm still alive, obviously, <laughs> but I don't exist to them and to the rest of the world and to anyone else coming along, reading, like looking at this book within the cult would not know about my existence. Um, but they do because obviously, because I'm talking up about it on TikTok. Um, so yeah, that was just a little bizarre 
thing that I thought I'd share with you, another bizarre uh, fact from about the cult that I escaped seven years ago. I've got more to come, stay tuned.